Okay, hey everybody, my name's uh, Jordy Johnson here at Carving Fusion, and what this channel is based on is beginning, beginner power wood carving, like using Dremels, Fordhams, chainsaws, and whatnot. I don't know if you can hear that, but they're weed eating outside, so yeah, it's time of season to uh, start mowing your lawns again. So anyways, what I got here is a box of cottonwood bark, sent to me from a fellow named Nathan, and he's in Ohio, okay? He's, I gave, we have a group on Facebook, it's called Carving Fusion World of Wood Carvers, okay? So he has access to this bark, and lots of people don't have access to it, all right? So I just want to make something very clear, there's no money in this for me, and I'm not trying to self-promote myself or anything. It's, he sell, I gave him permission to sell it in the group, okay? I'm going to leave a link to the description in Facebook, so you can get a hold of him, or I'm going to send, in the descriptions, I'm going to, leave his email address, okay? So you can get a hold of him on Facebook or email. He will ship this worldwide. So this is the stuff here, okay? I don't have a tape measure, but you can see how big it is. He's, he'll send longer pieces like too. So like a box like this, with an extra two more pieces, approximately. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So you get about seven, seven eight pieces. This is good uh, eight, nine inches long, I think, eight inches. So he'll send this for 60 or $50, shipping included, inside of the States, okay? Outside of the States, like to the UK, shipping is just like $75 alone. Then it will be an extra $50 for the bark. So you're looking at 75 plus 50, what's that? 125 or something, USA. Okay, so why he's doing this, it's giving people the chance to get the bark and it's putting a few bucks in his pockets too. He's a good, good guy. So I wanted to, um, I told him to send me this bark so I can curve it on my channel. So you can see here, this bigger piece is a little bit shaly, but you always want to get rid of the shale before you start curving. All right. It's got nice clean back stuff. So you think guys in the States and America, if you pay $60 for a box like this, you get two more, you get, say you get eight pieces. You can sell these carvings for 25 bucks as a beginning wood carver, okay? So I'm going to carve a couple of these wood spirits. It's not a tutorial video, but I'm just going to test grade the quality of the bark. This is a smaller piece. That's okay. You guys, don't, like, lots of people want the chance to carve on this bark because it's preferred wood to carve this, this uh, bark and uh, basswood. It's cottonwood bark, okay? So let me get all set up here and we'll do a couple wood spirits. It's not going to be a tutorial video. It's just going to be a video about my opinion on this bark. Okay, before I start carving, so you got shaly stuff like this, right, guys? I have a lot of experience with this bark. I do ship it within Canada, but I just don't like shipping. So, okay, so what you want to do is see how that just popped off? That's what I mean, shaly. There's no sense curving it when it's fresh with the with the gray on the outside because you're going to have say if you start carving right here and carve your nose right here once you carve deeper your nose is just going to pop right off okay so always make sure to and this is just my opinion okay always make sure to get the top layers off first and the deeper that you carve into this bark the more solid it's going to be like less shaly okay so you see here it's kind of getting harder to get off with the screwdriver so now I, I think I can start carving this now. So let's do a wood spirit um, right here. Okay, just going to be a simple. I'm not going to be talking about how to do a wood spirit. I'm just going to carve live for a bit and give my opinion on the bark. All right. So I'm going to do one more thing before I start drawing on my wood spirit. I'm going to clean up the outside of this, right? But when you carve this bark, you want to leave some of the natural color of the old weathered stuff outside bark on the gray stuff. You want to leave it, right? So I'm just going to clean up right here and here where I want to carve the face deep, right? So I'll get that done and then I'll be back because then you can really see these cracks. And if you think they go straight through, like you look this side, then you look at this side. There's a crack here, there's a crack on this side. So there's a good chance those cracks go right through. So I'm gonna clean this up first, all right? I won't film that, but I'm gonna use my Fordham to do that. Okay, so you can see here I got three pieces cleaned up. A little one, a medium one, and a larger one. So you can see the shale cracks there. So this one here 
if you were on top of my finger let's look over here it does go all the way through kind of but I think it's sold because you guys can also keep your ear open when you're carving this and see if it sound you'll once the more that you carve see if it sounds like rattly you know like hollow you'll hear it if it's broken in there you'll you get that little hollow sound right so anyways I'm just gonna drink some of my coffee here first then I'm gonna start carving and it will be a talk through so you guys don't have to hear the carving noise I'll just uh, carve wood spare in one of these and we'll do a talk through yep okay so I got three pieces of bark here so which one do I want to draw let's try and make them all different you guys a wood spirit is they're always big sellers and anybody can do them all right I love they're my favorite thing to do so these are just gonna be basic ones so always have your center line I gotta find a better pen center line so where do we want our nose on this we want our nose right about well it dips in here right so you think you want your bottom of the nose to be here because it's less carving for the mustache right so there's the bottom of our nose for the very beginners always start off with the bridge of your nose wide okay because you can always carve it thinner later but you can't carve it thicker right so let's just give this make this guy kind of a little bit blowing over to the uh make his beard blowing over to the side here okay this guy's not going to have real carved eyes yet i might change my mind and like i said this is not a tutorial on how to carve a wood spirit the kind of better if you let your mustache r roll over right like give it more length on the sides of the nose you see that like bring it straight across then over and especially when you're doing the wind blowing one give it lots of room on the side you can adjust it you could take it back farther later so anyways I, i'm going to be using my cut saw extreme flame burr um let me see if i can find one one like this this one's kind of worn out but you can get these down below in the description too go to the cut saw site use the code cfusion you'll save yourself five percent this one's totally worn out but Guys, I always use my Dremel 4000 with a Dremel flex shaft. I got lots of videos how to repair these. I got the flap sound, Peter Blair flap sounder on here right now, but I'm going to take this off and put a cut saw on, all right? So let's get carving here. Just to show you guys, you know, sometimes you got to get new burrs. So I got a brand new Extreme Flame Burr. These are my favorite burrs go, go to right here. Cut saw extreme flame. So anyways, and once again, I'm going to repeat myself. I'm going to show you how to put your burrs in your Dremel handpiece. Okay, you put, come on, zoom in. Okay, so you push it all the way in. You pull, you don't leave your burrs out like this, okay? Because that burr will get a wobble. It's hard on your bearings and you have a good chance of bending this burr or even breaking it. So push it all the way in, pull it out a little bit. Tighten her up. Use your little Dremel wrench or whatever kind of wrench you will do. And there you go. See that that's how far you, you pull out the burr. It's the best bet. Okay, so you guys can hear the fan, the, the dust collector fan. You guys, I have videos on this table too in my playlist. So I'm going to do some live carving so you guys can see how well this bark carves. It's a great opportunity for you guys to be able to get this bark. So let's see here. I'm hooked up to a Fordham foot pedal, so I get speed control on this bird. Watch. Foot pedals are a big difference too, guys. Try and get your foot pedal. I suggest the Fordham. Okay, now let's put our eyes across, just straight across. So there's all our cuts in. That's all we're gonna do, okay? At this point, actually, you know what? See this red line here? Let's cut a forehead in. And cheekbones. I'll already tell you, this, this piece of bark is super soft. Nice, soft, dark bark. So I'm going to take this forehead down right now, okay? Okay. 
Just because you hear me running my Dremel full speed doesn't mean I'm pushing as hard as I can go. Like, I can go real light, too. I can push hard, I can go light. You guys, what I'm going to tell you here is going to be a real big tip. So you see here, you see how here how I took the forehead back, okay? Even from the nose, see that? Now, from doing that, I'm gonna, that's gonna be able to make my nose stick farthest off from the piece, just like a human face, right? Look at the side view, look how far the nose sticks off now. Okay? So now let's um, recarve our eyes in. I'm gonna take them a little bit higher so your forehead's not so big. Okay, see that? Now watch how high this far this nose will stick off once I remove this bottom of the mustache. First of all, I'm gonna take this cheek down a bit. Okay, now I'm gonna remove all the mustache, that cut here. I'm gonna feather it all away. Okay, so here's an example. Okay, I'm gonna stop the fan. Okay, so myself, I would consider this a very nice bark to carve. It's solid, it's got some weight to it. But just like with all bark, even bark I get, like I said, it's shaly. So you look here, when I was carving, a piece broke off right there on the mustache. You see that? That's from that crack that comes all the way down here. So you, instead of wasting your time, right? You gotta think that crack will continue up here. It like I, This mo nose might break off, give it a, like, who cares? If it comes off, you carve deeper. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Carve deeper. I'm giving this some push on the nose. No, it's not going to come off. But is this part of the mustache going to come off? Instead of saving yourself having to carve it, just like, look at that. Okay, boom. There you go. That's what. So the deeper that you get into the wood, this cottonwood bark, the deeper you carve into it, the less you're, less you're going to have any chance of this happening. So look, there you go, okay, boom. Now, is this nose safe? I really don't know. I don't think it is personally, but I'm trying to pull. I know if I get my screwdriver under here, it will break off, but I just don't want to do it. So if I got if it comes off, I can always glue it back on. But look how far that nose sticks out, just wicked. Okay, so let's get. Uh, sometimes when the bark dries off, draws. Um, so I'm getting ahead of myself. Sometimes when this stuff flies off, you have to redraw your lines on. So things have changed. You know, things have changed. So now, put our center line back on here. Let's see. No, this guy's just going to have a simple beard. It's not going to be blowing in the wind because things change. So I'm not going to film carving anymore. If something breaks off, if there's something I think I should talk about, I'm going to talk about it. Okay, I'll stop. But let's get these wood spirits uh, carved in and, and tell you my honest opinion about this bark. But I like it so far. It looks, it's uh, nice and solid. It sure is. This piece is for sure, yeah. It's all different. Bark's different from different areas of the world, right? You know, like, it's different than the bark I normally carve. Even though, like, say, if I carve, I go to one town, get bark from one town, then I go get it from a different town, it could be a different because it grows in different elevations and stuff like that. You know, like, some grow right beside the river, some grow away from it. But I'll say you'll always find the, the thicker cottonwood bark always has a water source because the, the cottonwood trees themselves are like a freaking foam that absorbs water, right? So it absorbs more water. So this stuff has to grow faster because the trees are, the grains are so thick, it gets so big so fast, right? So always look by like a stream, a creek, a river, a lake. That's where you'll find the bark, the cottonwood trees with the thick bark.
Okay, so here you go. So this is about half an hour carving for me. I'm just blasting them off quick to get this video done to um, show you guys the bark. I think it's great quality bark once you get deeper into it. You can see this one, like it's got two different colors. It's very, bark's not green, okay? It's just, I call it layers, but it's just very light, uh, tight layered bark. Like you usually, with the bark I carve that I get around here, you can see each layer. This stuff you can't. It's very dense. All right. So you guys never think that you have to put a finish on a piece. Like these could be done. They're good just like that. You do not have to put a clear coat on it. You do not have to put poly shade on it. But I'm going to put oil on these two pieces, on this one and this one, to get the colors to really pop because this is lighter than this is darker here. But this one's going to be so dark already. I'm going to put a spray finish, uh, clear spray finish on this, okay? So let's start off with the oil. Let's just do this one. I'll put the camera on the overhead. What, the oil that I'm going to use, you get this stuff at your uh, drugstore office or whatever, drugstore. It's mineral oil, okay? You can use any kind of oil you want. This is the stuff that I like to use. It's a bit more expensive, but this was like 10 bucks for this here in Canada. So let's get it set up and uh, put some oil on this and watch the colors pop. Okay, so see look how darker that's already going. I'm using a small brush because I don't want to get any oil up here, right? Just leave that natural. You can put some here. You can put, actually, you know what? Let's just oil, I'll oil the whole thing. And make sure you you move your piece around in the light so you can see it, like if you got up underneath those eyelids and stuff like that. Because there's nothing worse when you think you've finished a piece looking at it a few days later and you see that you've missed a spot oiling it or what your finish on it. So anyways, let's fast forward here. And let's get down to where it's like darker here and lighter. See that transition? And you the oil brings out the color the best, in my opinion. I didn't sand these that good, but the better that you sand them too, the better you're going to get the colors to pop. Okay, I just went over this quickly with the flap sander. All I used to carve these was that uh, Cut Soul Extreme Flame Burr and hit it with the flap sander. Okay, one burr and the flap sander and it's done. So, you know, like this. Anyways, let me get these all done. And then I'll be back, I guess. Yep. Okay guys, so here you go. So that one's oil, that's oil, this is shellac. You know, when you spray it with that clear coat, spray it once, give it a couple days to really dry because it will make it like a plastic, right? And then you can spray another coat over top because you can already see, I sprayed this two minutes ago, look how flat that nose is gone. And the eyebrow, the wood is just sucking it right up. So give it a couple days, you know, don't, don't like, spray it hour after hour, hour because it's not truly cured let it truly cure if you want to get that nice shine on it okay because this wood's so porous it's just sucking in the stuff so fast but no i um this is beautiful bark i like it i suggest it you guys it's very good wood to start off for the beginners you think if you're paying 60 50 to 60 dollars for like a box with eight pieces this size okay you're thinking, oh, no, it's just a money grab for buddy. Not really, because you got to think. I, you guys, once again, I promise I don't make any money on this. I'm just trying to do it to help you guys out. you got to think. He's got to go into the bushes. He's got to get it. He's got to bring it out. He's got to clean the backs. The, I told him I want the backs clean. If, he's, if, 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 if I didn't like this bark, I'd tell him not to share it on my uh, Facebook group, uh, Carving Fusion World of Wood Carvings. I'd say don't try and sell it anymore. Okay, I told him, I told him the stuff that I like him to sell is straight pieces like this, where you get a nice face, nice face right in here. But I think it's great bark. I like it a lot. So, anyways, that's about it for this one, guys. Um, his email address will be listed below in the description. There'll be a little arrow on the right of the bottom of this video. You can hit that arrow, and a whole list will come up. It can take you to the Cutsall site, but. His email 
or his Facebook link to his Facebook group will be the first two ones. I'll just put Nathan with a little finger pointing down and email him or send him a Facebook. And it's great for the beginning carvers, guys. It's very dense bark. Okay. And if I said, like I say, if I didn't like it, I wouldn't say that I support it, but I support this. So thanks for selling it to the members in the car Facebook Carving Fusion World of Wood Carvers group. Nathan, and any of you members in that group that has bought this from them, can you leave a comment be below so other people can uh, read them? So they're not, people aren't don't know me, don't think I'm just trying to be a salesman here because a car salesman, because that's not who I am. Only for the cuts all bits. Buy the cuts all burrs, guys. Use my link. <laughs> Hope you're all good. Now I'm having a good weekend. See you later. Jordy Johnson, Carving Fusion, over and out. Abra, Kadabra.